You know what absolutely sucks? That I am in my 20s right now. I'm in my 20s, and I want a house. I want kids. I want to get married. I want to start a life. I want to do all of these things that seem so financially out of reach and seem like they are never going to get any better. Now, I want to make it clear that I don't have anything against this lady, and when it comes to her message, I actually agree with most of it. But the thing is, and this is what I want to criticize, is this trend. Like, if you go on TikTok right now, you will see a lot of ladies. A surprisingly high amount of ladies, and they're all having the exact same talking points, almost like stealing each other's homework. And they also have something else that's in common. A lot of people that go into the comment sections and agree with them, and not a single person is going to mention what I'm about to mention now. It, it, it just comes bizarre to me because I see her complaining about not having money, but she is sitting in a car, which I would assume the minimum payment for it is at least $1,000 a month. It looks like a 4x4. Again, I'm not an expert with cars and stuff, but it looks expensive as hell. And then when you look at the makeup that she is wearing, right? Like, ever since I've been blessed with a wife, I actually know how to look at a woman's face and put a price on it. In this case, I would say give or take $120. The makeup, right? The phone that she is using to record seems incredibly high quality. And again, it's, it's not this particular lady... It's all of them on TikTok. So, so, like, why aren't people noticing this? Why is this not a talking point? And, and the reality is that a lot of people, and this is the actual issue, they look at the internet, they look online, and they believe everything they hear as gospel. Now, the sad thing is that there may be many people out there who are definitely struggling financially and who are being given a, a shorthand, and there's reasons for that. But, but it's bizarre when I see a person that, that's surrounded by all of these wealth, all of these amenities, and they're saying, oh, well, you know, I, I just, I, I just, I don't know how to make it in life. I... This is like the AOC version of saying, well, um, I, I, I just managed to get elected into Congress and, and I don't know how I'm going to pay rent. I'm... And again, it's not this lady, right? Like, just take her out of your mind. I, I do not know who this particular person is. It's just like she came up on my timeline uh, w w she was going viral. And, and, you know, like, the first time I see a lady like this, I'm like, well, okay, you know, whatever. Then, then another one, and another one, and another one. And usually when this happens, and I complain, like, people say, no, actually, this one is really nice, V. Like, this one is like, okay, I get it, but it's not her, it's the trend. It's like, the these people that are incredibly wealthy, complaining about not being able to, to make ends meet. And I'm thinking, like, okay, well, if you can't do it, I should be desperate then, because I'm more poor than you. And, and it's also the fact that, again, like, like people are, are looking at these videos and, and they're not reading between the lines. Like, a person that can't make ends meet doesn't surround itself with so many luxuries. Um, and, and it's also the thing, it's like, I can't afford to get married. Like, Noni, like, you're the woman. <laughs> I, as a guy, right, when I was younger... If I went to a lady with, with big fat tits and a millionaire, she wouldn't look at me if I wasn't making as much as her. It turns out like there's this trend among women. What can you do, right? Like if you're, if you don't make as much money as they do, they're not interested. Like maybe I just had bad experiences, okay? But the other way around is fine. Like well, now that I'm making money, I, I would, I'm already married. But if I wasn't, I would have nothing against. Marrying a woman that does it, right? And like me, there's many other men, many other of my friends. Like, they, they don't care about how much a woman makes. So if you're a lady, like, what do you mean you can't afford to get married? That's just bizarre. But then you, you go to the meat of the issue, right? Because a lot of these people, again, not this lady in particular, but a lot of others <clears throat> that I have seen, and I'm a little bit of peeved that I didn't save their videos, uh, they, they were blaming greedy capitalism for this. Like, oh, they, these... These capitalistic companies, they're, they're so greedy and they're making life difficult for us. And I'm thinking, really, so, so it's only our generation that has greedy companies? Because most of these people, they, they go on and they say, well, you know, like our, our parents had it a lot easier. Our grandparents had it easier. So, so they didn't have greedy corporations? It's like just our generation, the companies decided to go greedy all of a sudden? 
Uh, interesting way of thinking, isn't it? It's like, oh yes, capitalism all of a sudden just became so bad. You know, like when, when our parents were there, you know, they, they had their houses in the suburbs and their little dog and their own car and they didn't have the same financial problems according to these people. Because they come from wealthy families that, that are making these TikTok videos. And, and the first thing they start, it's like, oh, well, it was so great for my parents. So they didn't have the greedy companies, right? Like, they, they didn't have the greedy corporations and, and the late-stage capitalism. It's, it's just us that we got the short end of the stick. Yeah, surely it's not because the government is printing money like crazy. Notice how I didn't see that this many of these videos before COVID. Like, that was interesting. Also, the government decided to shut down the economy for a while. And then printed stimulus checks and stuff. And that's when the inflation happened. Like, we, we didn't notice these videos before COVID, right? And, and if you want houses, do you think that if we get, like, uh, tens of millions of other people into the country, does the demand for housing decrease, right? Like, we now have even more people than before, and no one just wants houses. Like, the, the, those people, they, they just don't want any houses. They don't want to live anywhere, right? So the demand just goes down. I'm sure that the criminal activity also doesn't affect businesses whatsoever. It's not hurting the economy. I mean, if you pass a law and you say, well, it's a misdemeanor in order to steal. And now you have people going into stores and stealing more than ever. And the stores are closing down. Do you not think that affects the jobs of those people? If those businesses shut down, who pays taxes? If there's no taxes there, do you think that's good or bad for the economy? Huh? I mean, I was talking to my cousin, and she's from New York, and, and she was concerned about the crime level in Romania, and I'm like, woman, you have the fucking army in your subway. What? You're, you're talking about Romania? <laughs> Not it? Like, they deployed the military in the subway in your state. They don't do that. Like, like I, I can go with my bus without having soldiers to guarantee my safety. And she's like, uh, well, yeah, but like, so... Like, I, I'm not against the fact that the military is deployed. Like, don't get me wrong. It, it's the reason on why they had to do it that's the problem. Honestly, with some people, you got to simplify it a little bit. Because else they don't they don't understand. Like, well, well, why are you so shocked? It's like, oh, well, I see soldiers when I go into the subway. So what? And it's like, no, no, listen, listen. It's not the problem of the visage of the soldier. Even though, like, that in itself is a concerning matter. Like, I, I don't want to see people with assault rifles. Everywhere I go, they, they, they create drama, they create tension, no matter the situation. You know, you have a pleasant conversation, someone comes in with an assault rifle, instantly adds drama to the moment. It's like coming in with a hazmat suit, it's the same thing, right? And then, so, when, when you have that, it's not just the problem that the guy is there, it's the reason on why he is there, right? Like, if you see the guy with a hazmat suit, it's not, oh, well, th this guy has it. No, it's like, why does he wear one where I am sitting, you know? It's the, good God. But yeah, like that's that's the reason why a lot of people can't afford ends meet. Not these ladies. These ladies can definitely afford ends meet. I guarantee to you, just by looking in the car they're sitting and the the wealth that they're surrounded themselves with. But there are many people that do struggle. Yes, no, that that is correct. There are many people that do struggle, and it's not because corporations are greedy. 